What's up everybody, it's AJ here, <coughs> Snow Tracks TV, bringing you guys your YouTube exclusive stuff. More of these walk around videos of the 2020s. This is a brand new 2020 uh, Indy XC 850 137 axis. It uh, does have the 850 motor. <coughs> this is a Snow Check Select. So that means coloration and all that fun stuff is uh, Snow Check, or sorry, <laughs> snow, ch snow Check specific. Um, and this is the 137 in uh, Indy. So this is the new one for 2020. Last year you guys got the 129. <clears throat> Everybody seems to really like it. This is just a little bit longer and I'm telling you right now, it works really, really flipping good. Um, been railing it down the trails. It rides super plush. In fact, I'm really interested to see what, uh, what what's gonna happen in a shootout next year between this and the R-Motion because the 125 Indy XC skid <clears throat> um, was good but I still felt our motion in 129 was better. This skid, I'm not so sure about that anymore. This thing works so good, so plush. Walker shocks all the way around, everything's adjustable, you can play with them, do what you want. Um, but this, the 137 rail on this thing, I, I don't know what it is, I guess it's bridging the bumps better. Um, we're on some pretty, pretty smooth groom trails this morning. It's nice and clean, clear, but uh, there are bumps, there's moguls, there's uh, geot, you know, big, big geode spots too out there and we're riding into those pretty hard, you know, finding the full use of the travel. And this skid works really, really good. Now, one thing you guys are gonna love is Ice Ripper. So this is pre-studded. You can now get it on a Polaris and there's a lot of them in there too. This is a, you know, what's it got per pitch? Six, six on, on this pitch alone. So lots of studs in there, right from the factory. You don't have to get your dealer to put it on. It comes from snow check, so that's pretty that's pretty awesome. That's a really good feature. <coughs> um, other snow tracks or <laughs> snow tracks select. Yeah, I've been doing this for a few days, so I'm getting a little a little uh, loopy here. Snow uh, snow check select comes with this rear storage bag, and I have been harping on Skidoo for not adding storage to their XRSs because when you pay a premium at snow check, I think you should get it. And this thing, like, I could I could store a small dog in here. I'm not telling you to do that, but like I'm up to my elbow. Like that's that's insane. You can fit you can fit a ton of stuff in there. And it's because the, the gas tank has that opening in the middle, right? So you know it's it's kind of hollow in the middle. There's a little bit of a cutout in there. You can fit a ton of junk in here, and that's cool. I like that. I think that's that's important. People want storage, they don't want to buy a sled that's you know worth primo bucks and not get anything. Plus, you got the heated goggle area, you know, it's actually radiating heat right now. It's probably fogging the lens on my, my phone. Um, this one does have the GPS gauge on it. It's got the uh, adjustable rocks riser, um, which is pretty cool, works really good. It has the haze brake. I like the haze brake the way it works. I don't like the lever. I find when I'm wearing my gloves and I pull in with one finger, it gets really close. And that doesn't look like it's very close right there, but when you're riding and you got your glove on, um, I'm not a two, on the on the brake lever I'm a single and uh, when I pull it in it contacts my my uh, middle finger and, and feels a little bit too close so that's one thing I don't like is I don't like the brake lever on it but that might be the only thing I don't like on this sled walker shocks they show you hard and soft super nice the needles and the uh, velocity shocks this year also will have graphics to show you which direction you're going I know it's not hard you know to figure out clockwise and counterclockwise but You'd be surprised how many people don't have their sleds set up right. Um, so anyways, <coughs> handling on this thing, front end is still laser sharp. Does push just a little bit uh, more than the 29 does, but it's not bad at all. Uh, I really enjoy it. I like the way it rides, I like the way it handles. It still goes through a corner really, really well. Don't get me wrong here. It doesn't push, you know, a lot, but it's definitely more than the 29. The 29 will get through the corner um, a little bit sharper. This one, you're just gonna, you know, have to work at it a bit more. Not to the point where I would say that I don't like it or that I, I wouldn't purchase it. Um, this is a this is a really, really, really good riding sled. Front end is really nice. Um, handles great out here on the hard packed. Uh, it handles good even in a little bit of, little bit of fresh snow like we got here. Um, and you can still have some fun with this sled, you know? It's not an off trail. 137, in my opinion, is just a long track trail sled nowadays. But you can still get off and play in a little bit of snow with this thing. Um, straight tunnel in the uh, the Indy Premium, um, you know, is is great. Looks really good. 
Um, I like the style of this, you know, and it's not that I, it's not that I didn't like the ProRide uh, uh, rear end. It's, it's just that this looks, I don't know, I guess it, to me, it just looks more right. This is, this is a, it's a good looking sled and I don't, I don't not like the other ones. I just think that this looks more, I guess it's more conventional. It's what I'm used to. I like the look of the Indy XC. I think it's really good looking sled. The red graphics on here and the glossy tunnel and all the nice stuff really, really stands out. Um, you know, it's, it's hard for me to fault this snowmobile. There's, there's not much on it that I don't like besides the brake lever um, and the brake lever. I think everything else on this snowmobile is exactly as it should be. The motor pulls so hard and this year there is a whole bunch of updates to the 850 motor. I think the number of new parts on it, it's significant. Um, and it's not that there was a ton of issues, yes, Polaris will admit that there was a couple. Um, <clears throat> very few trail sleds had any issues at all. And it was, uh, you know, a certain run of production that had a, a couple of small uh, production errors. You got a four year warranty with it. So they fixed it. They made sure they fixed it right. And everything seems to be working just perfect now. So no issues there. Uh, however, this year's motor, um, they have uh, rectified anything that was potentially questionable. It's all gone. Um, everything's new. They've got lots of testing hours in all the other stuff. And really it was just like they said, the, the, you know, any percentage of failure was exceptionally, exceptionally low for a first year uh, motor, but they wanted to fix that stuff and make sure that it was good. And anybody who had a first year sled that had any issue with it at all, Polaris decided to just throw an extra year's motor or extra year's warranty at you. So if you got a four year warranty and you had an en engine issue with the 850, they fixed it, got you back on the snow, and then they gave you an extra year, so you got five years. So I'll tell you what, that's a company standing behind their sled really, really well. I, I think that that's admirable, respectable, and that's a company just taking care of business. So this is, uh, yeah, this is an absolute awesome sled. I'm super stoked with it. I like everything it does. I'm happy with the way it works. And uh, I wouldn't change it for uh, pretty much anything. I, uh, I don't think there is anything on it that I would that I would do differently. Snow checking, I don't think I'd check anything different. I like the looks of this. There's uh, the new, what is it, 40th anniversary graphics that are pretty kick butt. I like those a lot. Um, but this one, I don't know. I like the red and black. It looks really pretty. Looks good on snow. Um, works really well. Yeah. I know I'm over the top and I'm not really giving you anything negative, but that's because Polaris has built a really exceptionally good snowmobile here. Um, and I. I I don't know, it makes my job easy. They give us storage. They give us an excellent ride out back, a super premium ride up front, uh, adjustable handlebars, GPS gauge package. I, I guess I could get a little bit, <clears throat> um, you know, I could say some things about the fact that they only have three position toggle on, on your hot grips and thumb warmer. Um, but then again, I don't really need a whole lot more than that. So does the competition, all of them have more? Yeah, they do. Uh, but Polaris has got a GPS gauge. And it gives you a whole bunch more information than everybody else. So to me, that's, yeah, that's making up for it. You got the nice drilled out running boards, just like the XC this year had on the 129 for the 19s. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to say, everybody. Thing works great. It's a really good sled. If you're considering a 137 inch uh, trail sled for next season for 2020, um, yeah, you might want to get in and snow check one of these. And the other thing is <clears throat> for 2020, the 850 motor, is the same way it was for 2019. You only get it if you spring check it. There is no in-season 850s, unless of course a dealer had somebody back out on an 850 that they snow checked. So if you want one of these, you better get in, you better spring check one. Um, yeah, do it right away. You're gonna get your four-year motor warranty that's fully transferable so you can ride this thing. There is no mileage limit on that. I asked the, uh, the engineers just yesterday, we were having dinner with them. I said, so like, is there any kind of a, a mileage limit to that four year warranty? They said, no. So to me, um, you can ride this thing for three years. You can put on 1500 to 2000 miles per winter and sell it to a buddy with 6,000 miles on it and still give it to him with a full one year warranty. That's something that's hard to find. Fully transferable, no issues. And honestly, I don't think you're going to have too many issues with this motor. I think these motors are going to be very bulletproof. Um, the other cool thing, Polaris was specifically telling us about the belt on this. Oh, there's Mark. 
coming to do more GoPro shots. Um, so Polaris was telling us about the belt and they said the belt life on this thing, they have, uh, they have belts that have 7,000 miles on them and, and haven't had issues. And they say they recommend at that point that you get rid of it. No kidding. 7,000 miles. And, and still no blow, you know, no, not blowing up. You can put the thing in as a spare if you want. I mean, that's like, that's like four or five years for most people who are aggressive riders. That's, in, yeah. that's insane. So you got four year motor warranty, you got incredible belt life, transferable warranty, a product that is, it doesn't need, it doesn't need anyone to boost it up or try to, you know, try to pat it on the back because it already does an exceptionally good job at everything that it does. Um, yeah, I know I'm over the top, and you know what, guys? I, I, I don't bleed red. Um, I, I like a lot of different sleds. Uh, the, the sled Mark's riding over there, I really enjoy. The, uh, the new Arctic Cat with the new ARCS uh, 2 front end. Um, I like the Skidoos. I like the Yamahas. I like the Sidewinder. There's lots of stuff that I like. But this snowmobile in 137-inch length, it's going to be an absolute struggle for anybody to beat it this year. Because 137 in Indy XC... It's not that the 129 was bad, but I found the R-Motion to be a bit better. I found the front end of the Polaris to be better than the Skidoo. But now with 137, I'm telling you, it's going to be a battle. Wait for next season on Snow Tracks and we'll show it all to you. Hope you guys enjoyed.